O ko alo hano ai ai kalani a o ko o ya i o he hamolele ho i so this girl grew up in a time of great adversity the world and hawaii were changing her solace became her writing and her music and they carried her through her life the good the happy the bad the sad especially during the overthrow where she said not one drop of hawaiian blood should be shed so give in let it be what is right will be fixed when the time is right we understood that through this ball of perfect light we could learn anything and everything. We learned that we could fly with the birds. And we learned that we could even slide down a rainbow. And when we did that, we could even take each of the colors and make a lay from the rainbow and it would be ours. Or we could ride and surf on the back of a, of a honu. All of these things we knew we could do because of what we learned from that bowl of light. And so we journeyed to see our kupuna. And the kupuna said, I'm so glad you came. I've been wanting to know when that would be. I've been waiting for you. And we said, you knew we were going to come? Oh, yes. I knew you would come. And what is the problem? We don't know. All we know is that there is no light in our bowl anymore. And the bowl is so heavy, and we are not well. Tutu lady comes, 60 of his family is there. She says, get behind me. And she starts her chanting. She starts walking down. She's got on the, she's going, she's talking, she's praying. The chanting's coming out. She gets to the stone. She's crying, awe, 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 she lays down on the stone. She's rubbing her tears into the stone with her hair. She's lying on the stone all the <laughs> Tears. And the eight-year-old girl walked over and picked up the stone and slowly followed the tutu up the little path to higher ground. And tell me what would you say to make everything okay, okay, okay. A warning for the Was me. Oh. Was me. My hate. When, when burned down the house. Remember that boy. No point finger. They will learn for forgive each other. Truly forgive. No point finger. If you let the small kind stuff get big, more people gonna get hurt. They wouldn't remember what Paz was trying to show them. They wouldn't remember what happened. All because of one hate. Young Daniel in a way joined the 442nd Regiment Combat Team right after Pearl Harbor. He fearlessly confronted the Germans and also the Japanese troops were sent to man the machine guns in Italy. But also, he not only faced that down, but he faced down the American prejudice against the American Japanese at the time. He volunteered for the most difficult assignments, some of them virtual suicide missions, in order to rescue others. Many of his friends did not return from Europe and the war. The 442nd, 
was at first regarded with great suspicion because they were Japanese Americans. But they excelled in combat and became the most decorated unit in United States military history. They forgave those who treated them unfairly. It's the president. And that's John Fitzgerald Kennedy on the line. He says, congratulations, Senator. I gather your father's in the city. Why don't you bring him around? Right after lunch, we went there. And it was, uh, I think, something that really shook him up because uh, after it was over, he says, well, I'm ready to die. I've seen the president. I've seen my son become a senator. That's good enough. This was uh, on the wall of a medical rehab clinic in Kabul. And uh, to the left, to the right, the bottom left, I'll read that one first. Do not value things you have in your life, but value who you have in your life. And the center slide says, when someone hurts us, we should write it down in the sand where the winds of forgiveness can erase it away. And the upper right says, when someone does something good for us, we must engrave it in a stone where no wind can ever erase it. Oh, ko aloha no, ai ai kalani, a o ko oya i o, he hamolele ho i. Thank you.